Hello, it's Matthew here. Just getting ready to go to Jamaica really, really soon. I'm gearing up and I just wanted to show you all the equipment I'm using. I try to step it up every time I go with some new stuff and this is for those who are interested in the gear side of things. So, first off, well, I guess first off is in my hand. I'm using a GoPro and I have a Hero 7. I used it in Indo this winter, shot a little film on it. I'll put the link below. So I keep it pretty simple as far as accessories go, just a clip, a couple mounts, and I might tie it to a surfboard or something, but I uh, really like it. The stabilization is amazing. As you can see, whoa, super smooth. And this is handheld, so they step it up every time. I really love GoPro, and I haven't had one since the Hero 4 which I killed surfing last time at Bull Bay. So stoked to have a new one. And yes, this is all shot on the Hero 7. Next up is the, uh, the Mavic Air is what it's called. My friend Brody brought one earlier in the year. And when we were there in November, got some really nice shots. So I found this used, pretty cheap. Really smelled like cigarettes, but other than that, it's worked out great. And then I got these new filters for it that help you out with color. So there's a polarizer and D filters, which are for when it's really bright, helps you control the white color on it. And it's got a controller here. It just hooks up to whatever your phone is. So I've got that going. I did practice quite a bit in Indo with that as well. Got some pretty sweet shots. Uh, next up is the classic stuff. So this is the GH3. That is made by Lumix Panasonic. I've shot all the nice stuff on this since 2015. It's now my B camera. I've got a little wide angle on it, 17 mil. This is the bad boy, the best camera. I love it so much. It's the Lumix GH5. It is my baby. I've had it for about two years. It's got an amazing Leica, great stabilization. I've had issues with focus. If you're a video nerd like me, you might have noticed in the show that things get really weird and wonky with focus. And I, as an editor, I just hated looking at it, but um, now it's all got software updates and stuff. GH5 lens is updated. So uh, this is what shoots all the awesome slow motion, the time lapse. I'm using this camera for 95% of the shots. For audio, this thing hooks up onto it. It's a Rode shotgun mic. I have a little attachment that fits in the hot shoe right there. And this was what gets, I'll say good enough audio. You know, in a perfect world, I'd have 10 people and we'd all be doing a job and making it sound amazing and perfect, but I'm going on my, by myself this time. So this is definitely gonna do the trick. And this is a 14 by 140 lens that I'll bust out here and there. I've had that for quite a while. This is a kind of cheaper, but it's a long lens, 100 by 300. So it's pretty sweet. It'll get some nice, really long shots. It does zoom as well. I don't use it a whole lot, but if there's some cool wildlife happening, then I'll pull that one out. And then this is just a little audio for the B camera. So as I mentioned before, two is one and one is none. So this is camera numero uno. This is camera number two and will be my backup. Still an amazing camera, even though I got it in 2013, and it still does a great job. So this is something new. This is a lens I really wanted to buy a super expensive, you know, $1,600 prime lens. This is a 25 millimeter. So for those camera people out there, it's similar to a nifty 50 because I'm using a micro four thirds camera. But I was about to pull the trigger and I really did not have the money for it but I ended up getting this one and it was seriously like 10% of the price. I've taken some shots with it and it looks amazing. So I'm really gonna try it out. Um, I really, I was so impressed with the pictures and the video that I took that uh, I'm just shocked to be honest that it's that good. So this is um, something that'll work really good in low light. And kind of like my living room today, it's pretty dark. so. This would really brighten it up and make it look amazing. Great for portrait shots, art stuff, slow motion, kind of more artistic stuff. Not so good for running gun or when we're cooking or running around wherever, but for the nice beauty shots, I'm really gonna try and work with that one. So that's, yeah, camera gear. Um, on the floor in a total mess is 
you know, audio stuff, memory cards, battery chargers, SD cards, lens pen. You know, people keep your lenses clean. You got to keep them clean. Don't have dust on it. Don't ruin your stuff. Do your wonders. Simple stuff. Um, got my same old camera bag I've had for years. I just got at Costco. Uh, what else am I doing here? Skateboard. <laughs> As you see, I've traveled with it already. I brought a skateboard last time and I f left the board there and I ended up giving the trucks to someone, a Jamaican guy in Bull Bay. So I'm gonna bring my own trucks here. Um, this is kind of my just carry on bag. I will usually put the camera goes in here and then that goes in this. This is my little wheelie bag. Just try to protect it as best as I can. Uh, this is where normally when I'm shooting, this is where the second GH3, the second camera will live in just that kind of camera bag. Uh, I've got extra tripod head. I probably don't need it. Uh, a couple selfie sticks, which I don't use a lot, but I have them anyway. I've got this bag of miscellaneous stuff. So I got a cage for the GH5. I've got uh, light here. This one I got on Amazon. I really like it. It's dimmable and it takes the same batteries as my big lighting kit, which we'll get to in a minute. I found this at Dollarama today. <laughs> really cool kind of wire stuff. We're always rigging something up, so I'll take that and I'll leave it with Moko. He can always use it. Duct tape is your best friend when you're doing an independent video production. I've got chargers, extension cords, I actually, I do leave some stuff because I go every six months or so. So there's some stuff I already have chilling on the yard, but um, I, I usually bring extra and just have it rather than not need it. Uh, what else do we have? We have um, lighting. These are, again, I got these pretty cheap on Amazon, but they did a really good job and the battery life is quite good. So, you know, these are these dimmable LED panels. So I'll often use one in the kitchen because it's so dark. I hope Moko's got the electricity fixed up this time because it's been a while. Um, anyway, there's two of these and then I have batteries or they can plug in. So Moko's got electricity rocking on the yard now. So that's awesome. Uh, power bars, RX bars if you get hungry. I like that. I got my hammock. I've got two different tripods. Again, most of my stuff is quite cheap on Amazon. I don't spend a lot on tripods and lights and all that stuff. All the money goes to that. That's the number one thing. Good glass and a good camera. Everything else is kind of secondary. Uh, I've got a monopod, got some sheets for direct. Uh, what else am I working with? Oh yeah, I'll just bring my laptop here. Same one I've used for last year. I got two hard drives and, and they are tough. I This is something I would spend a little more money on too to make sure you don't lose all your footage. Last thing you wanna do is have your footage die from dropping it or something. And what else do we got here? That's most of it. Um, every time I come, I try to bring something for the family or to help Moko with the business as well. As you know, he has Riverside Cool Cabins, which we book on Airbnb. So if you want to stay, you can book on there. I'll put the link there below. And uh, Moko is amazing at, you know, being a host and cooking and guiding and vibing with people. He doesn't always do a lot to sort of uh, change things at the yard. So I try to bring some things to help out in that respect. So this time I'm bringing some power bars and stuff so people can, uh, I'll put these in the rooms and then people can charge their stuff. So yes, you can charge your phones. The service isn't good, but at least you can have something to charge up uh, with some USBs hubs and stuff. Um, there's awesome hummingbirds and I haven't been able to see them much last time or they're hard to catch. They usually love to hang out on this papaya tree and the papaya tree was gone last time. So I bought this hummingbird feeder. Uh, hopefully me and Rat Rat can mix up some hummingbird Nectar, I think it's just five parts water, one part sugar, something like that. And I get some awesome shots of hummingbirds. Uh, these are kind of more for rat rat, just some sparklers for fun. Maybe take some photos with that. 
Um, gifts for Moko. Uh, he's been talking about wanting to get some tools. So I'm, I got a tape measure. I got this trowel for gardening and I got him a saw. He was asking for a saw. So uh, just a basic wood saw. So that should help things out. Whoops. I brought some hooks and stuff too, because I find when I'm in the cabins, I always want to hang my clothes or something or whatever. So I just bought a bunch of these random hooks to put in the cabins. A um, couple mirrors. I actually bought this nice mirror and I smashed it already. So uh, <laughs> dollar M is good, but not for, not for breakable things per se. So um, that's basically it. I got a bunch of clothes and stuff that I bring as well. Sheets for Barrette. Um, my girlfriend's coming here shortly. She's got a bunch of clothes to give for the girls. Uh, they got hooked up with smartphones last year and I think one of them died. So I am looking for a smartphone. If anyone in Toronto area has one, uh, maybe I can bring it to them next time. And that's basically it. So if you have any questions about gear, uh, you can ask me below. I'll do my best to answer it. And yeah, really excited to get out to Negril. I've never been there before in 10 years of going to Jamaica, so it should be pretty cool. And bless up.